What's going on guys? It's Mr. Guns. We're running a CZ75 SP01 Tactical today. This is a great little gun. There's a lot of pros to it. A lot of the people in the country that are, that are gun snobs like to run these CZs because of the quality. So we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to run it suppressed and unsuppressed today. That's going to be a pretty cool shoot. America! Okay guys, here's what we are running today. This is the CZ75 SP01 Tactical. It is in tan. I assume that's some kind of Cerakote finish. Uh, it's a really pretty gun. The grip is incredibly comfortable on these things. When you have a hand the size of mine, make sure to keep that finger off the trigger there. When you have the hand the size of mine, this thing really fits really well. It does have the suppressor height sights that are night sights to get you over those cans that are big and tall on the top. We have a decocker here. We jokingly call that the decocker stopper. We had a friend of ours with a CZ75 compact that he went to put in his pants and let the hammer down and shot himself in the leg way too close to his business. So that is what we call the decocker. This stops you from decocking yourself. So we've got a slide release. If you notice this gun, the, the, something that's unusual about CZs is that in the slide itself, the slide rides inside the frame instead of outside the frame. I can kind of show you, this gun is in fact safe. I can show you how it rides in there instead of being on the outside. What that does is helps you have a really low bore axis so that whenever you shoot this gun, the action is more back like this instead of being an upward recoiling action. So that is pretty helpful. It does have the nice rail on the front in case you want to add like a light or a laser or anything. It has a mag release on this side. The only thing that is ambidextrous on this gun is the um, decocker. If you, if you guys uh, know anything on the internet, I probably should have looked it up before I made this video. It could possibly be a reversible mag release. Somebody can look at that if they want to. It obviously has this threaded barrel that we can run suppressors on. And so what we're going to end up doing is adding this Silencer Co. Octane to the front. And I'm going to stop real quick and show you kind of how the Silencer Co. Octane mounts on the gun itself. It's pretty interesting. And then we also have an 18 round magazine. I believe it comes with two and it comes with a little box and the manual and all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is show you something interesting. If you've not seen these Silencer Co. Octanes, they are, uh, I'm sorry, Osprey. If I said Octane in the intro, I meant to say Osprey. The Octane is the round one. So this is a Silencer Co. Osprey. What's interesting about this is that when you mount it on the gun, which kind of, you gotta get the threads just right. There it goes. So now it's going onto the gun and you get it on there and it gets screwed down and you're like, oh my God, it's crooked. How am I ever gonna get that straight? Well, they've got an interesting piece here where you pull this lever up on the bottom and it allows you to properly time the suppressor to the gun. So you can take the gun and line it up really nicely with this square suppressor and then close that off and it creates this really long, sleek, squared off uh, setup that's beautiful. And something that's interesting too is because of the way this is and the piston being up high and most of the baffle stuff being down in the bottom, it allows us to have a position where your sights are over the suppressor. Now this one clearly has suppressor height sights that helps us get over, but even on guns without suppressor height sights, this is always a good choice to keep it down low. So that's kind of what the Osprey looks like I said, uh, yeah, Osprey, not Octane. That's what the Osprey looks like on the end of the gun, and the suppression is fantastic. You don't see these as much anymore as you used to. Uh, you know, used to Silencer Co. and AAC were kind of the guys that were the main players in the market, but now there's so much dead air stuff and rugged stuff that's really good. Silencer Co. has sort of fallen off the map, but they still make an amazing suppressor. They're still one of my favorites, really. And you'll see here in just a little while that this thing is quiet and shoots really nice. As many of you may know, uh, CZ was a Czech company 
and there's all kinds of old CZ guns that are out there uh, and then CZ USA produces these uh, I don't know what their relationship is with Czechoslovakia maybe some of you guys do that are big CZ fans but uh, they're built here in Kansas City in the US uh, or at least imported to Kansas City if these are built overseas somebody let me know what you think of that in the comments um, we they do have the nice suppressor sights 18 round magazine today we're running the uh, this is just actually some Czech surplus ammo because uh, I figured why not keep with the theme right so let's go ahead and run it we're gonna shoot just a little bit at our wall of steel over here here we go we're gonna start with something simple I'm gonna shoot the big target in the center there she is a little bit higher than where I'm aiming to the right but that's consistent so if I miss here a little bit I'm gonna have to kind of compensate yeah see that shot higher than what I expected it to that's also high so let's try this dueling tree and see how bad I mess it up I didn't miss that one too much Oh, missed it there went that one top one there went the top one number four Oh, missed number four, didn't I? Oh, missed twice. It's got my number. God, that's not good. All right, let me try to restance a little bit. My stance sucks, guys. I know that. There it goes. That was perfect. All right, let's go over here. Hit that piece of steel. Hit that piece of steel. We're going to drop it to, let's say, the lower right. Oh, pop that one. Here we go with another one. Ah, shit, missed it. Oh, there's one in the center. There's another one. And our mag is empty. Well, that was fun. We're going to go ahead and run this guy suppressed with our Silencer Co. Osprey. I'm running 147 grain Golden Saber Remington. These heavier grain loads ought to be a quieter round, so that's why I chose them. Um, I shot a little off camera. They still do shoot a little high, so bear with me if I miss some. But uh, we're about probably, I don't know, 15 yards out from these targets. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run it, and we're going to see how she goes. You notice that we barely hear anything. I'm shooting without ear pro on purpose before the safety people mess with me. I'm running without ear pro to demonstrate that there's absolutely no need for ear pro on this gun. And it shoots like a dream. The recoil is so controllable because of the way this gun is built. It's just super enjoyable about the most fun I've had with a suppressor let me see oh yeah I can hit still oh hitting that one there we go so that was uh, 18 rounds there I didn't miss but maybe once so that's a good thing and uh, this suppressor is really keeping it toned down so that's a this is a super cool setup just to add something a little bit more interesting or whatever I'm running 115 grain spear gold dot these are usually you know fairly hot for a pistol round and because it's suppressed, I want to make sure that it's uh, it you know still sounds good even with 115 grain, and because uh, the 147 will be a little slower, a little quieter. So let's run this 115 and see what happens here. It is louder, but it's still not so loud that it's intolerable. Actually, the sound of the steel at this distance is more annoying than the sound of the gun to my ears so that's pretty cool there it goes oh barely hit that one that one's good let's do some dual entry i had my thumb out there my grip was very poor i apologize for that oh missed that time there it went that one went missed that one. Oh, twice that's not good everybody's gonna make fun of me here we go Oh, missed that one. Twice. All right, I'm going to shoot at the bottom one instead of the middle one. Sometimes they just have my number. Oh, that one. Sounds like it hit something, but I don't know what it was. Maybe it caught the corner. So that's it, man. 115 grain is a little louder. You can tell it definitely seems like it smacks the target a little harder. Maybe that's just in my head. Um, but all in all, I've got to say, this I'm pretty impressed with this gun. All right, guys, so if you want to talk about a hell of a lot of fun, this is it. I shoot a lot of guns, and it's not often that I get super impressed. It is just so smooth shooting. 
And, I, you know, I'd run CZs in the past and maybe never paid attention like what I am today. But, you know, a lot of the guys on the Internet, everybody's like, oh, this gun sucks, that gun sucks. But then they always say, well, what, what is left? And the guys will say, we'll get a CZ. And I always kind of laughed, thought those guys were just snooty because a lot of us gun guys are. And, uh, but once I run this thing and feel how it is, you can definitely feel the difference in that low bore axis and the way that this gun cycles. It's just so smooth. It's pretty uh, unusual for me to say, hey, go out and make sure that you get one of these things. I recently sold an SPO-1 Tactical personally, but it was not threaded. And I really, that gun had just kind of ended up in my collection and I had not really run it like I should. This gun, I'm probably going to end up buying or keeping for myself because I'm just so impressed. It's a little funky with the suppressor height sights. You got to get used to that, the way it hits, because, you know, most handguns, you just kind of cover things up with your front sight. This one, you all almost have to lollipop it a little bit, which is unusual. And when I say lollipop, I mean put the, the target kind of on top of the sight. It's not my preferred way to shoot. If this were mine, I would try to maybe adjust this out a little bit or just get used to it the sight does not appear to be adjustable um, so you know it does have some left right play of course but this thing's hitting fine left and right uh, but all in all if you're on the fence or you just want to know something about this gun this thing is a great way to go I would go ahead and pick up the threaded guy so you can put these suppressors on it but anyway that's all really I have to say about the gun you know the gu uh, the gun world is a community man y'all be nice to each other y'all take it easy